The Bears have signed another offensive lineman. Ryan Poles continues tweaking the roster and searching for ways to improve the team. Bears signed undrafted free agent center Corey Dublin. Dublin was a five-year starter at Tulane. He is six foot four, three hundred pounds, and started sixty straight games for Tulane. He won the starting guard job as a true freshman and remained a fixture on the line for five full seasons. He finished his career as a center, but showed enough athleticism to play left tackle as well. I believe the Bears brought him in to add some competition at the center spot. Sam Mustafer did not have a good game Saturday. Doug Kramer showed some flashes, but he was seen on the ground too much. He also missed practice yesterday. I'm still waiting to see if there was an injury. But at yesterday's practice, we had Dieter Iceland with the second team at center and Zachary Thomas with the third team at center. It seems like the staff was not pleased with that and brought in another center to compete with both Mustafer and Doug Kramer. Dublin has nice size. As far as his game goes, he's a better run blocker than pass blocker, but he's solid in both areas. He's a smart, fundamentally sound blocker who understands leverage and how to use angles. He has a strong anchor and displays good hand usage. He often plays with his pad level too high and often gets beat by speed rushers. Without being able to watch tape on this kid, it's just too late in the offseason process. I pulled a couple of scouting reports on Dublin, and for the most part, I like what I'm reading. I'll throw a couple of these up on the screen real quick for you guys to see and also read, but a quick one here, a Tulane inside scouting report says his positives were He's a nasty, small area blocker who is strong, explosive at the point, and knocks defenders from their angles of attack. Quickly gets into his block, keeps his head on a swivel, and plays with a nasty attitude. His negatives, he cannot redirect or adjust and gets beaten by quick or nimble opponents, not effective pulling across the line of scrimmage or blocking in motion. His final thoughts were Dublin is a power gap blocker, with limited size and upside. To me, this points to Dublin being brought in purely as a center. His inability to be an effective puller would severely hinder him from playing guard in this system. So to me, this move was to address the depth at our center position. Dublin has potential to be a good player in this league. He had received some interest from around the league, but at this time is purely a depth move. Once again, Ryan Poles shows he has his finger on the pulse of this team, as every time we feel like there's a significant hole on the roster, Poles strikes quickly, bring in some competition. This one really isn't a needle mover, but it continues to show that Poles' work is never done. We now have to release five more players at some point today. It will be interesting to see who gets released. It's obvious that the front office is not pleased with how the centers played Saturday night, and maybe Dublin could even be brought up to speed fast enough Get some action in Thursday night's game. That's a tough call. Usually when you sign a guy two days before a game, he isn't ready to play. However, the rosters will be getting cut today, and then again next week before our big cut down to 53. Dublin doesn't have that much time to make an impression, so I wouldn't rule him out getting some late action against the Seahawks. Stay tuned. We have more news coming today. The 15th training camp practice is currently underway with no live tweeting or videos allowed from today's practice. Thanks, Bears. And our front office will also need to release five players by today's deadline. I'll be back breaking down everything for you guys, so hit that like button. And until next time, Bear Down!